Welcome. So we have another example of finding the net electric field from two charges. Here we've got now they're rotated 90 degrees or so, but we're still going to have the same thing of the distance between them is A and the distance between the midpoint and P is L. So here's a very good sketch, a very good drawing section. All we need to do is to add vectors. So we need to draw a vector from the positive to the point P, label it, I'll call this R vector plus. We're going to draw a point for all of this and R vector minus. So now that we have that, we can go into our organized stuff. We're trying to find the electric field, so let's write the electric field equation just to remind ourselves, right, to organize ourselves. And we need to find all of these individual elements. Well, Q is really easy, right? The charge from the positive charge is going to be plus Q. The charge from the negative charge is going to be plus Q. Okay, already getting progress. Next, we need to find the R vectors. So the R vectors that we need to find are R vector plus. And there's probably still some worry and concern about this. So we just want to find the Rx for the positive i hat plus the Ry for the positive j hat. So how do we do that? Well, we can find out how far we need to go in the x direction by from here to here. This is a distance L. So we say L i hat. And then in the y direction, we need to go from here to here. So we actually need to go down. So this is going to be plus negative a over t j hat. Mathematically, we do not care whether the minus is here, here, or here. It's all the same. For our r vector minus, we're not going to do all of that again, right? But we are going to right, do this. So here I need to go from minus to p, a distance l. So this is l i hat. And then I need to go from minus to here. So that's plus a over tj. So after this, we hopefully feel pretty good about finding r plus and r plus squared. r plus squared is going to be just the Pythagorean theorem since we have two different directions. So we're going to get r squared plus a over tj squared. And in fact, r vector minus squared is going to be the same, right? Pythagorean theorem l squared plus a over 2 plus. Cool. Now let's dedicate a little bit of time to the R hats, which we hopefully feel uh, good about, but maybe we don't feel as good about the first one. So R hat plus is going to be R vector plus over the magnitude of R. Well, we found R plus squared, so we can just divide this whole thing by the square root of that. L squared plus A over 2 squared. And we can also just write out r vector plus, so l i hat plus negative a over 2 j hat. And we can do a similar thing with our r vector r hat minus is going to be r vector minus square root of magnitude of r. We just read out our r vector minus l i hat plus a over 2 j hat. And we read out, right, the magnitude squared, or square rooted of this, so L squared plus A over 2 squared. And now we have all the elements that we need, right? We have Q, R squared, and R hat, and so we can write these individually. So I've got my electric field of my positive charge is going to be K, my Q plus Q, over my R squared. And then we're going to dedicate a lot of space to this. L i hat plus negative a over 2 j hat over my square root of l squared plus a over 2 squared. So that's my e plus, and then my e minus is going to be k minus q over l squared plus a over 2 l squared. And then my r hat is going to be l i hat plus positive a over 2 j hat and i have l squared plus 
fill up the two square. Cool. So now we want to find the net electric field, and if we keep it in this form, then the net electric field is actually really easy. Our net electric field is going to just be vector sum of these two, and as we kept it in this decomposed form, it's really easy to do it. First thing we can do is we can look at all of the shared terms that we have between all of these. Well, I have K shared, I have Q shared, I have this denominator shared, and I have this denominator shared. So what I can do is I can write my E net with all of these shared terms out in front, and then find out what's left after this. So I have K, Q over, and then last thing I can do is I can notice that L squared plus A over two squared and square root of L squared plus A over two squared are the same thing. So it would be times one times one half, so I'd get L squared plus A over two squared to the three halves. Okay, what do I have left? What I have left is plus times L i hat plus negative A over two J hat, and then I have minus so all of that times L i hat plus positive A over two J hat. Well, we're done with anything interesting here. All we have to do now is just simplify here. L i hat minus L i hat should cancel out. And then this minus distributes here, this minus distributes here. And so we get A over two plus A over two, really negative A over two plus negative A over two. And so we would get just A from this. So then I get that my net electric field is going to be KQA with a negative J hat, right? Negative, negative over L squared plus A over two quantity squared to the 3 halves power. So that is my net electric field from here. What we did, right, was we sketched, we organized, and once we organized, we were able to then bring this all together and just add them up. Once we add them up, if they're in this decomposed form, really easy to do. So we're going to then do a dipole approximation in a future video. Watch out for that.